Hey guys, welcome back to another iOS development video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the search function in Xcode. And the search function is just super useful for when you want to search up like a variable name or if you thought you misspelled something and you just want to search up uh, how you actually spelt it. So to demonstrate this, what I'm going to do is I'll create a variable. Uh, let's just call it variable. Um, we can just call it a string. I'm going to create a new file now, uh, just so I can demonstrate that it's global. Um, we'll just call this file. And now I can create a, a new variable. Uh, let's call this uh, let string equals, and then we'll make this uh, string again. So now let's say we're just working on this view controller and there's like a lot of lines of code and then you want to know um, how uh, you're looking for the so you're basically wait I'll build it All right so basically you're using the variable called string and uh, is equal to, we probably shouldn't have that. okay it's lowercase yeah so what you're doing is you're working on this uh, like this and then you have your variable called string and you're just changing it to things and set it to a file and then let's say you want to change something when you want to initialize string so there you go to your search thing and you just type in string and this will tell you where every single string in the whole uh, project is and we're working on a variable string and you can see it has a lowercase so if we turn on matching case and I click enter again you can see we have the bit where we change the variable and then we have the declaration so we can just go and change this to int and yeah also you can change a scope so if you're creating a new scope and then you can go here uh, and then you just can change whatever you want here and it's just quite simple uh, I'm just going to delete this and I'm going to take this off search up string again and if we search up string with a capital capital S then we get this so yeah that was just how you use the search function it's quite self-explanatory some people don't know how to change cases and scope and things so yeah that was a quick tutorial on how you use the search function see you guys in a future tutorial bye